Welcome back to our scene guys and uh, now we are going to see how we can uh, create sidewalks uh, into Rodscape. So this is pretty easy to do. Uh, all we need to do is to bring the sidewalks uh, asset into the scene. And as for everything else, we do Alt S, Alt R, Alt G. Okay, we can then go into the edit mode of the sidewalk. And we can see that we have a sidewalk mesh that is waiting for us here. Okay, so we can activate a face project again, and we can uh, simply uh, go and uh, make that edge uh, stick somewhere around here. So this looks okay to me. Now, if we have, uh, if we don't have the sidewalk uh, appearing, it's either because you have disabled the extra gen or because we haven't simply. Uh, told the sidewalk generator which a roadscape object to use so i'm clicking roadscape object and now as we can see we have our uh, sidewalk that is showing up here so to create a sidewalk in a uh, roadscape it's uh, fairly easy all you need to do is to simply uh, trace it like uh, everything else and like everything else you can change the uh, width of it at any given point okay and uh, by default, the sidewalk will uh, set its uh, height on the um, most nearby uh, road mesh uh, height. Okay, so if I go like this, and if I uh, have the uh, the sidewalk go uh, onto the hill, you can see that it still uh, set itself up to the most nearby. Uh, road height okay so this is useful when you want to do uh, some stuff so this is why the option is here okay you can also uh, set a free uh, elevation uh, for the sidewalk so you can choose your own elevation for this you can just simply uh, add a weight of one uh, of ray cast exempt vertex group to any uh, any vertex so let's select this vertex let's add uh, raycast exempt and now i can take this vertex and i just can uh, you know i can go crazy and you know set it up at the height that i want okay if i remove it it will uh, go back to start sticking at the same elevation of the nearby road okay so this is basically how you can uh, create sidewalks quickly in roadscape guys you can uh, you know put them on the road like that and uh, you know that's basically how it works how it works uh, so i think that uh, this is all uh, for it we have uh, a bunch of options we can see we have the subdivision level you can go for uh, very low poly stuff or you can just use some subdivision you can randomize the curb. Randomizing the curb will add some randomizing uh, value in height uh, on the edge of the curb. Uh, you can always choose the flare uh, Z offset of the curb. Okay. You can always uh, as well choose the uh, height of the sidewalk, the default height of the, side the sidewalk. And you can as well uh, resample the length of each face and you can choose uh, you know something very wide or uh, very tiny or you, you can also just uh, keep it unevaluated which means that uh, it will it will base the face size depending on the base geometry as you can see if we have a very small section here it will simply uh, create the smaller uh, faces and then the last thing that we want to do uh, want to see with the curve generator it works kind of like the road generator so that you, you can uh, add elements and make them uh, merge and you can as well uh, use it as you could use uh, a road a road uh, intersection so let's say we have uh, this going on here we will simply uh, subdivide this add one here subdivide this and one here and as you can see we have now a t intersection on our uh, sidewalk so this is how you can do it uh, and as you can see this is a uh, fairly easy to use guys so
This is how you can use sidewalks uh, in Roadscape, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.